Thanks, Tom. Yep. What's up, guys? How we doing? Man of the people out here, this is your turn. Yeah, man, this is my hometown, baby. How, yeah. How's it feel to actually be? I'm sure you've dreamed of this for a while. Is it like to actually be going through the motions? Uh, it's, it's it's great. I saw my first uh, UFC fight at Prudential. You know, I uh, saw GSP fight Dan Hardy when I was a kid. Uh, seen a couple more since then, but yeah, it's you know. I remember being there and being like, I'm gonna fight here one day, and now has come to fruition, so that's cool. Yeah, I heard he was a little tougher to submit that night than your coach. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true, it's true. He's a tough guy, absolutely. Uh, what, what sparks motivation, you know, bring the kids up there and everything? Do you teach a lot, you know, at your, at your gym too? I used to, actually, I used to, uh, I was like the first uh, kids instructor at uh, Miller Brothers MMA, uh, J Jim Dan Miller School. Jim will be up here in a sec. Uh, I, don't, I don't teach as much anymore, but uh, it's fun, you know. I want to, you know, get the kid excited, you know. It's cool. Have you and Jim fought on the same card before? This is our first time. We've been in the back together a lot. Either I'm fighting or he's fighting, but uh, first time, first time, sh first time sharing the uh, the octagon. So it'll be cool. That must be pretty special for you, especially him. He's you know, making history again, setting yeah. the record for most UFC A hundred percent. I, you know, uh, obviously Jersey's got Frankie Edgar, but. Uh, you know, Jim and Dan Miller, those like big brothers and me guys I looked up to my whole life. So it's really cool. You know, gotten, getting to go around with him, you know, that's, he's a, a leader and a, a great guy. Yeah. I love about the, uh, the last one. Obviously, Ch Sanchez didn't go the way you wanted, but what did you take away from it? Um, you know, I, uh, you learn every time uh, you're in there. Uh, sick leading up to it. Did it couldn't perform. Uh, but... You know, being uh, like just seeing more. Every time I get in that cage, I feel like I see more. I get I get more comfortable. Uh, and you know, any anytime uh, it go it goes bad, you learn a lot from it. Cause you never forget it. You're embarrassed. You know, you're not happy. So uh, I I'd say from that being in there on my worst night, you know, I probably should have been laid up in a hospital bed. But uh, you know, I went in there and fought. It, it makes me very fearless. Cause I I've I've been, I've been what's it can't go worse than that. You know what I mean? I can't I can't I'm never gonna. It's not gonna be my worst night. You know, I'm not going to be I'm not going to be sick like that again. You know, so it gives me a lot of confidence, feeling good, feeling healthy going in there. Uh, I'm, I feel pretty fearless. Can you just talk a little bit about your opponent, Salim? You're obviously not as big name as Diego Sanchez, but yeah. still a dangerous guy. Yeah, uh, Salim's a tough kid, Polish kid. Uh, they call him Grizzly, so I bet he's going to be strong. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I watch him. Uh, I, I think he's, he's tough. Everyone in the UFC is, but... I think I'll take him out and finish him. You know, I know what I do. I've been working hard, running hard, training hard, and uh, you know, I'm ready to go. Do you, do you regret taking the fight with Diego because you were really sick? I mean, you, you mentioned you hindsight's 2020. You know, uh, but at, at that time, I I, ne I never would have pulled out. Not in a million years. I, uh, you know, if I sign a contract, I'll, I'm gonna show up. And uh, although I wasn't feeling great, you know, I I, I probably would have done the same thing again, to be honest. But uh, you know. I wouldn't say I regret it. I learned. I learned from it. And uh, this is, you trained here at, at home, right? In yeah, I trained in Jersey. Yeah, Gracie, New Jersey. Is this, when, was, when was the last time you trained uh, in Jersey for a fight? Um, not not my last. I, I did the Diego fight and the George Sullivan fight in LA. Every other one's been in Jersey. Is it nice to sort of be back home and, and get ready for a fight? Oh, yeah. Back to your roots? Yeah, man, it's the best. You know, I've been all over the world, and I don't love anywhere the way I love Jersey. I don't love anywhere the way I love Jersey. I got my family here, my friends, my friends that are family. You know, uh, Jersey's my home, and I, I, I love it. I'm excited to represent and perform in front of these animals. Do you prefer fighting at home or having to go away? Some, some fighters like it. Um, I, I, it was cool not having to take a plane ride. I was able to just drive down 78 and get here, you know. Uh, so I, right now I'm, I'm feeling good about being at home. You know, after this one, I think I'd like to do uh, either October in Boston and or uh, – and or Madison Square Garden in uh, in November. So I like I like the East Coast. In, in your career is an interesting case because you were brought in to, to fight CM Punk. Obviously, you were good enough to stick around in the UFC, but nonetheless, something that you have to do as you go along is pick up experience. Absolutely. Um, how has that been like? Because it, it is a very different road than most fighters. Most fighters yeah. know, accumulate a good amount of fights, then get in the UFC. You've kind of had to learn as you go, right? Yeah, absolutely. And. Uh, it's it's been it's been interesting. It's been a, a lot of learning, and it, but I, I've loved it. I love I'm I'm happy and willing to, you know, uh, have my whole career be in the spotlight. Go from you know uh, I was in here after my first fight. I had only had my first amateur fight a year before that, and uh, you know if if anyone can handle like handle this is me. I, I I love it. I'm happy to show my growing pains in front of the world, 
and I know uh, just myself as a man, as my character, will just continue to grow through this. And uh, not only as a fighter, but as a man, I'm gonna keep growing. And uh, you know, I'm 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 happy with it. I couldn't, I wouldn't change a thing. So, so you wouldn't want the the, the usual road to this? No, 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 no. I'm happy with I'm happy with the way it went. I, obviously, you know, more cage experience it would be would would be helpful. But you know, I'm 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 learning as I go, and I'm just gonna keep rocking out. And how helpful is it training with Jim Miller? Because he's he's got the most fights in the year. Yeah, man, he's an OG. Yeah. Uh, it's great. Jim's been giving me advice since uh, before I before I had my first amateur fight. Uh, I've always looked up to him. Him and his brother Dan love them like brothers. Look up to them like brothers. Uh, they've been really helpful. Yeah, every time I'm always always getting knowledge bombs from those guys. Jim's been able to keep a high level through his age through all the fights that he's been through. What do you at an early stage of your career take from that? Do you think at all about career longevity or are you just going in balls to the wall? Um, both. I'm, a, I'm, going, I'm, I'm going balls to the wall. Absolutely. You know, no, you know, you got to live for today. Tomorrow's not promised. But, uh, you know, I, uh, I, I see a long career. Uh, so kind of both. You know, I'm going balls to the wall and I'm thinking about the future. What's made Jim so uh, happy as long as you have just Jim Miller, Just Jim fucking Miller, you know? He's Jim fucking Miller, he's, he's, he's a G. He's, uh, he's tough as nails, you know, hard nose, just a tough guy. Uh, I really couldn't say exactly what it is, I just, you know, he's Jim fucking Miller. That's, he's a legend. Hey, Mickey, obviously with the amount of competition in the division at the minute, where do you see yourself, where do you want to be within the next six to 12, 12 months? Um, where I see myself? I know I, c I could beat any, uh, any 170 on any given day. Um, what I'm doing is I'm I'm trying to I'm learning through my uh, cage experience. So I'm learning. I'm trying to get get the cage experience so I can make sure I can be that guy every time I get in there. Um, you got You got to have your best 15 minutes when it's that time. I got to have it at Saturday at 2:30. I got to have my best 15 minutes. Doesn't matter how great I was in the gym last week, two weeks ago. I need to have my best performance right there. So I'm learning how to make sure I can exact my best me on that time and on that day. Uh, so that's kind of that's you know that's that's kind of where, where I'm at. I know any given day I give you to anyone, and you know time will tell. You will see. So your mindset's just yeah, focused on now. And yeah, I'm gonna beat Salim Tuari. Uh, I'm gonna finish him. You know whether it's the first round, second round, third round. I, I like to you know I like to go in there and murk people and take them out in, in a minute or two, but I, I'm prepared for three. All right, thank you guys.